Guys, what's going on? It's Mark. How's everybody doing? If you're still watching, thanks for staying here. If you're new to the channel, thanks for subscribing and or watching, giving me a thumbs up because I appreciate it. And with that said, without further ado, behind me is a machine that I've had for going on about three years. And you're not gonna believe me. You probably honestly won't believe me, but you can look at the previous videos. I've driven it on the street in my neighborhood and around town maybe at, a, at the shop and whatnot. I've never had a chance to take this damn thing off-road. My buddies and I, were, my buddy Brad and I were gonna go on a trip and the trip got canceled. Uh, we were supposed to go and take them out, it never happened. Without further ado, I'm showing it to you. Um, so it's a 2019 Can-Am Maverick X3 Turbo R with the Fox Shocks Reservoirs. You can adjust these babies to firm on different three different levels, one, two, and three, right there, if you can see that. And believe me, believe me, you, they are definitely, definitely make a difference. And the same with the rear. Rear right here, reservoir shocks, three different settings. And I wanna show you guys this, cause this is incredible. Look how clean this machine is, brand new. Like I said, the damn thing has sat in my garage. Um, the specs on it, it's a 172 horsepower uh, Can-Am Rotax engine. The length I wanna say is 165 inches uh the the width i want to say it's the 72 inch width um and you can look at the ground clearance right here what is this looks like a bunch of bubble gum dried up tar what do you know um under the side is super super clean i mean look at it the calipers are still new the axles are still new um you got a little bit of scratch right there from probably rubbing against my garage maybe a little bit of scratch right there from probably my son messing with it and you got a rear view mirror the light bar the light bar i installed that i never really finished uh the clearance on it i want to say it's 14 inches from the ground to the actual bottom the the side rockers are not even damaged or touched maybe a little this is like from brushing up against the garage and all all of my son's toys in the garage the floor pans are nice not even sat in you probably see my son's footprints on there but who really cares um, huge air ducts right here to ram in all that air. The hours are incredible on this, guys. The tires are in great shape. I mean, here's the other side of it. Super, super clean. The stickers are still on the machine. The trailing arms are in perfect shape. Uh, the rear axles and everything is just in immaculate, immaculate shape. 
you got a few scratches not gonna lie from here to there but uh same with the door and stuff right here that was before me so i don't know how that happened honestly and right there so um your gas cap it's i love these machines because they're so intricate but yet the, the designing is just incredible can-am definitely stepped their game up when they designed this machine uh my last year one i had three years ago or before that was a uh can-am maverick um forget the name of it whatever you'll see in my videos but the gas cap's hidden nice and flush behind this little cover right here it's a pup cover with a grommet your gas cap's right there oh god i was just going to tell you guys i've never even dropped it on the ground i just did it what a jerk oh my god i cannot believe i did that but anyways it's only been ran 93 octane 93 octane only cover goes on like that nice and easy it pops in really smooth the glove box is beautiful i got my stuff all in there my survival kit um it's just a really well-rounded machine i can go on for days the lights are accented absolutely beautiful i'm gonna show you guys how it starts up you open the doors this is the first year they introduced the doors too not the first year this is actually 19 but they have previous years adjustable seats adjustable tilt steering wheel it's got the dps that's dynamic power steering and guys when you're on the street or on the pavement that makes a huge difference you hold this button down the dps hold it you got to hold it down firm for like three seconds and it activates and you, you can notice a major difference driving it you pop the key and i don't like how they designed the key because you push it you gotta push really hard and it kind of wiggles out of your hand sometimes but who cares you hold the start button down can am there's the selector button you get the big screen this is the big screen one 14 hours ready select 6 39 p.m currently right now 193 miles it's my tripometer 14 hours and it's just it's incredible uh i've mounted the light bar switch here never installed it the wires are still hanging right down there um but you can hold this the four-wheel drive works good it interchanges to both four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive very easily eco mode sport mode right there uh you got your cell phone charger your power steering is under here all right and all your little areas for whatever else that all this good stuff is um your seat belt your shift lever reverse neutral high gear low gear um and it's just an awesome awesome machine powered off talked more about it um your adjustable mirrors right here hello and um to open the door you get out i like the scissor doors right here the suicide doors you got the strong handle right there they make a lower door kit too that you can put right there to fill that gap but i don't really care about it i don't even know i'll be honest with you guys i don't know why i'm selling it uh the headlights it's got the angel eye eyebrow kind of thing right there half on half off when you turn the headlight switch on uh it's got the full eyebrow or the full headlights on awesome lights and you can see for days with these lights on boys i mean miles accent lights right there um but yeah it's just a it's an awesome machine and i've kept it in phenomenal shape i think mine's probably the lowest 2019 can-am mileage and hours on the market right now or gonna be on the market um but yeah hope you guys like the video there's probably a lot more than i'm forgetting to tell you on this thing uh there's so many details that you can you can go on for days of the specs of this machine it really is um the brakes are in good shape the tires are almost brand brand new i mean look besides me driving on the street um the brakes are in phenomenal shape a little dirty most of the dust you see has been because it's been sitting in my garage look ready look at that that's the dust that's been in my garage and the dust behind here the dust in there see look dust everywhere i just wiped it down to be honest with you but i mean look at the nipples are still on the tire there's cobwebs right here see look and that's just from there's no abrasions right here from running crap over because it has not been driven <laughs> right here too same thing no usually telltale signs is when you look under here on the control arms the lower control arms you'll see me they're bent or scratched up no not this one but i just it's an incredible machine um the market's pretty crazy right now so i figured why not sell it and maybe wait a little while to get something new later on but hope you guys like the video this is mark signing out here's the key by the way too if you haven't seen the key it's the uh, sport key um so there it is yeah hope you guys like the video I'm signing out because uh, heading out now. So see you later. Enjoy and hope you enjoyed the video.